Have you been microaggressed? Have you been triggered? Have you been culturally appropriated to the point where you're like... Have you experienced a bad grade, a bad breakup, or worst of all, bad thoughts from bad people? The stress of school gets to the, like, oh, yeah. a bad grade, um, a missed class, being late, a, a, a microaggression, a, Whatever, even if it's just something small, it just feels huge. Are you a victim of people holding opinions other than your own? You that's why we need to ban people like my wife. Yeah, that's awful. We need to ban certain thoughts and people from college campuses from coast to coast. And you can't invite someone with those types of views. No, you know, you've got to block those types of things out if you want to be if you want to be truly diverse. Are you tired of being conned a hetero white man splained to? Every place should be a safe space. We should have a calming room. <laughs> Sometimes it just feels like you need a space. Like, but it would also be nice if there was like a room I could just go in and just like... <sighs> Being the victim of a microaggression can be a very macro agonizing micro experience. Fortunately, we have a macro solution. We are demanding that campuses redistribute their endowments and their tuition to pay for things like special first aid kits. Like if you could know that you could go to an advisor and to somewhere and just say, I need the emotion, I need emotional first aid. <laughs> George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Alexander Hamilton are all part of a infamous group of founding fathers. It's an emotional first aid kit. It's a fun little tote. For the very worst kind of injuries, emotional injuries. There's first aid for your, for your body, yeah. but there's also first aid for your mind. Yeah. As a non-binary person living in this binary world, everywhere you look, there, there are these white dudes doing white dude things. And as much as our department would like to say that we're super awesome and stuff, like, there's a bunch of white dudes running white dude things, and there's misogyny here. I, I have friends who, who, need, who would shout into pillows. So I spend, like, the majority of my nights just, like, screaming into a pillow, like, God, why? Personally, I would run into walls. That was before. I was introduced to the emo emotional first aid kit. We also found brave leaders at the University of Houston who understand our plight and want to help. So like, if you need help actually putting together the kits, I would come and help you guys. We found faculty with more than enough time to devote to our cause. They're really cool with me. Facebook doing it Harvard, Facebook doing it Harvard. That's why we're installing one of these on every single corner in every single dorm. Totally free of charge, of course. We want to give this to every single student basically in the world, but we'll start here. I'm like, so what, what do you fit in those kids? One of the things we just started out with was just a very soft baby blanket. There's an owl blanket. And you can, little monkeys who are sailors, who are genderless. One of the biggest issues is your surroundings and all the people. So how do you cancel out the people? Or your experience of the overwhelmingness that you're feeling. Uh, when they're all like, like freaking out, like when everything is like loud, even loud noises. <sighs> just basically earplugs. You just pop those in. You know, like an eye mask and like headphones. Just with like, like with the, just set to like, you know, the sounds of like, I don't know, kittens. Kittens. You know, the sound of kittens, and then you just go, oh. The smell of lavender. That's calming. Yeah, right. And then while you're chilling out, chillaxing, you can have pacifier. Now this isn't just mimicking a woman's breast, it's also a way to sort of... You know, I sucked my thumb for 20 years, so like also when I, I just... I don't know, go. Suckle and the, the repetition of... realigns your shukra. We also have Hershey's Kisses. But even when we're getting candies, we want to be careful about the kind of candy images we say. There's white chocolate. Whoa! Does anyone see a problem with this? We have Hershey Kisses. And we didn't realize these ones would have American flags on them. Sort of synthetic patriotism too. I'm more American because I wave a flag as opposed to 
talking the walking the walk. It's synthetic patriotism. Real sort of like conquer the world vibe. So we would never ever have a Hershey's kiss with these, the symbols of oppression. We know that we can't remove the invisible hand of the patriarchy, but what we can do is make it a little more tolerable. But you don't think the barking would be upsetting? I don't know, I hope not. Okay, good. So we can keep that in. <laughs> in the name of asterisk diversity, we believe that certain people and thoughts have to be banned as to not upset or offend certain students. I don't know. You, know, you know about this guy that's coming in a few weeks? No. It's like a really, really hateful person. Yeah. Milo or Miko, you know what I'm talking about? No, I'm gonna look at the My, my, Milo. Oh. Have you heard Is this? Is this him? Yeah. Yes. British journalist? This guy that looks like a weird Anderson Cooper? Okay, sorry, I'm just gonna sit so I, I have two moms, and it took me a long time because I just thought because I have two moms and my mom's been super liberal, and then I'm like, they're not. They're kind of conservative crappy. You guys, like, contact with the president or the president's office? We're going to. to be, like, we're going water. to work. How did they let him come here? They shouldn't have let him come. You're actually not doing it when you bring these people in. Mm -hmm. If you're not celebrating diversity. And instead, you're doing the exact opposite of that. Because the new definition of diversity is a beautiful kaleidoscope of the same idea. If you're listening, baby, you're going to be whether it's xenophobe, homophobe, banana phobe, Islamophobe, yeah we know. We made a kid for you just to make it home. We will no longer be silent, we'll make it known.